Hello everyone, this is my Blu-ray and DVD update for June. I've got about 18 titles, so let's get started. The first one cost me 20 pence, I'm going to start with the DVDs by the way. And it's Abbott and Costello, Africa Screams. I've not heard of this one, but I do like my old DVDs. So for 20 pence, it's a good buy. Another 20 pence pickup, Tales of Terror. This is a Vincent Price movie. Another film I've not heard of. If anybody's seen this one, can you let me know in the comments, please? It's a bare bones, it's only got the trailer. But as I say, 20 pence, here's the disc. Another pick up. I paid £1.50, World of Worlds. A film that's not available on Blu-ray yet. Comes with a 10 page booklet. And some special features. Here's your special features there. This one was a heart foundation pickup. Yep, all the worlds. Then the next one was given to me by, by my uncle when he found out I've never seen it. This is Spinal Tap. Says this film in his words is bloody brilliant. Tons of extras. If anyone's seen this one, please let me know. Here you go, two discs. And the booklet. Another film that's not got a Blu-ray release in the UK. I paid 99 pence for this one. Lake Placid. I'm sure 80s fan man will let me know what country I can get this from if it's got a region B release. But it's a fun little horror movie. I think it's only, is it only 80 minutes long? No, 78 minutes. Very short. But yeah, highly enjoyable. Another one that's not got a Blu-ray release and, in my opinion, one of his best movies. Wanted Dead or Alive. I think he made this one shortly after The Hitcher. And in my opinion, both of them movies are his best movies. This one is great. It's got Gene Simmons out of the rock group Kiss playing the baddie. This one is 4.3 though, that's the only problem with this movie. But I'm very happy to have it. Here's the disc art. And it also has the index. Yeah, great movie. The next one is a box set I paid £3 for. I'm not sure whether I've already shown you this one, but here it is again if I haven't, or have. The Stephen King box set includes Misery, The Dark Half and Carrie. I've not got any of these on Blu-ray, but I did only buy it for The Dark Half, because I know that's not got a release on Blu-ray in the UK. I'm not sure if they have any extras on them, but still happy to have this. Slim cases. But yeah, that's the Stephen King collection. The next one is a box set that was also given to me by, by, by my uncle. It's the Wishmaster collection. This is just Four movies. I don't know if there's been any more. 
There's the spine. Here's the DVDs. I've seen the first two and I really enjoyed the first two, but I've not seen three or four yet. Here's the back. It's got some extras on them. The first one's got a documentary. I don't know how long that is. Four and five, three and four, I've got no extras by the looks of it. But I'm very happy to have this for nothing. Now onto the Blu-rays. Um, the first two I won off this guy. Blu-ray Bullet Brit. He gives away four movies every Friday. Um, two, two winners, two movies, and then at the end of each month he gives away ten movies. With subscribing to this guy, he also lets you know the top 10 bargains of the week. So yeah, um, the first movie I got was Traitor. Guy Pearce and Don Cheadle. Not seeing it. Still wrapped. This one I think is Region B Locked. No, it's not. Medium 3. Yeah. Traitor. And the second movie I got off him is Deadfall. Another movie I've not seen. Still, still new. Now, I believe this one is... No, Warner Brothers. It should be Region 3. There you go. Deadfall. Charity Shop Pickup. The Book of Eli. I have seen this. I, I did enjoy it. Um, it was one of them films. Once I watched it though, I didn't really bother with it. Got rid of my old copy and then found it again and thought, yeah. Give it another go. Here's all the extras. This one's region B locked. Here's the disc. Another one was a CEX pickup for one pound. Centurion. This is a pretty good movie. Michael Fassbender. Region B locked, I think. Yeah, not bad for a pound. Here you go. Next movie I paid two pounds for. The Martian, another film I've not seen. I was was debating whether to pick this up on 4K, but this was only two pound fifty, so I thought so I grabbed this instead. Legion 3, there you go. The next one was a CX pickup for £5. So this up to now is my, I have the complete collection of these now. I think with this one being the bonus disc, I think it might have been a Sainsbury's exclusive. There you go. Playing discs. Next one, Smokey and the Bandit. Great film from my childhood. I had this film once before and got rid of it and now bought it again. Great film. Here's the disc. Can't go wrong with Bert Reynolds. The next one is a classic. Picked up the Warriors. 
Um, I've got the DVD of this and to be honest with you, I do prefer the DVD. This director's cut with the comic book inserts uh, doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. Here's your special features. Still a great film though, Walter Hill. One of my favourite directors. Next to disc. My last two are Arrow releases. First one I got pretty cheap and I've left the price on to show you. The Beast Within. I paid £3 for this at CEX. I don't know whether it should have had a DVD with it. But I'm happy with just the Blu-ray for £3. I'm not sure what this film's like, so if anyone can let me know. I've not lost anything for £3. It's a Region B locked film. Here's the disc. I don't know if I can get this out. Here's the original cover. Yep. And my last film, which is another blind buy, is The Mutilator. It's another film I've not seen. Let me know, guys. I paid £10 for this one. Here's all the extras. Region 3. Comes with two discs. Here's the Blu-ray. Here's the DVD. And also comes with the booklet. So yeah, that's it guys. That's my pickups for this month. All pretty cheap buys if I do say so. I've not really got the money to buy anything dear at the minute. So there's my Blu-rays, there's my DVDs. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, my name's Mark. Leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye now.